Today, we're talking about how to master visualization, master, not as imagination, but as a cognitive system, because this is a new model built from recent studies in neuroscience and system thinking, link in the description. And in the overview, we have the visual cortex is framed, the visual fractal mind, and the three planes of visualization. Here's the thing. Most people think uh, visualization is just a kind of manifestation. It's not. Because we need to understand uh, how to build visualization across different levels of the mind. Because the real architecture of the mind try to decode visualization in different levels of frames, different levels of viewports. This kind of big picture of the mind try to decode in different layers, in different kind of fractal layers of the mind. We didn't perceive reality, we assemble it. Every vision is a model of mind. Observation is not a stillness, it's geometry in perception and motion. This is the way we can decode visualization just like a kind of manifestation. But the real visualization, it's about different levels of geometry mind. In other words, the mind always tries to decode the big picture in different kind of frames, in different levels and scales of frames. But here's the key of this video. Visualization and visual feel, it's the same thing for the brain, the same thing for the mind. Because always we need to decode one picture into the primary visual cortex. It's right here behind the, behind the brain, behind the head. We need to understand the, the power of visual cortex. There are many points to match with this kind of elements. The visual field is not just when what eyes capture. It's the canvas where mind organize reality. And maybe this kind of information is not new for you, but if we can understand the primary visual cortex is the first frame of the mind, and then we try to understand this kind of elements of the picture, of the visual picture and different kind of perception or different elements across different layers. Finally, we can understand how to fractal the mind, how to decode and fractal the power, the power of the mind how to fractalize the mind in different layers of architecture. In other words, try to keep it simple. We had a first frame, it's like an observer window, like your vision or your vision field. We have a slow processing information. But if you can understand that we, are, we always try to decode different kind of elements in this kind of masterpiece or great big picture, these are the neurons works. As you can see, uh, when you try to see a perspective or try to see a vision field, you cannot decode all the picture. You always try to decode different elements of your visual field, like people, instructors, architecture. This is how the mind tries to work in different elements or in different fractal elements of the mind. When I try to explain fractals, fractals, it's a... Uh, a shade that repeats across uh, across different elements inside the mind, across different levels of observation of the visual field. In other words, if we can understand that visualization and visual field like uh, are based on fragments that we can decode across different layers or different levels of fractals, we can finally learn how to expand consciousness, how to decode the big picture of your mind when you're awake and when you're sleeping. Because the equalification and fractals are not the same in different levels of consciousness. For example, the fractal sponge. When we are awake, our mind works like an architect building with light. Reality feels big, complex, infinite. So consciousness breaks it into small order piece. We understand life step by step, break by break, moment by moment, frame by frame. For example, when you are talking with someone you just met, and you are the goal in different, uh, different parts of different frames of, of their face. 
in order to remember this kind of elements, in order to remember them, you always try to decode uh, his mouth, his ears, his eyes, and try to understand the big picture or the, the large face. The mind works like a precision machine. It breaks down the complexity of the world into order fragments, order fractals, actions through priorities. We process reality through sequence, one task, one concept, one frame at the time. There are different levels of consciousness across different levels of fractals, but this is the way we can decode when we are awake. But it's very different when you are sleeping. The concentric fractal. When we sleep, the brain doesn't stop designing. Instead of processing the world through steps or different frames, it expands in layers like a fractal rowing from a single square. It's like a different kind of or different layers of fractals in a different, uh, different scales because you have one frame and this kind of frame can expand more and more and more and more and more. It begins with one central image or object, the emotional nucleus. That first few right defines the logic of the dream. Because when you try to, when you are in a dream, you are not processing different levels of the mind. You are just thinking in one simple object. And this is the first frame of your mind when you are dreaming. And, and then you try to build a context of the dream across different levels. But the first frame, the first object is the, the first context of your mind. Okay. That first figure defines the logic of the dream, just as the first point defines the drawing of a perspective. From there, the unconsciousness mind expands outward in recursive layers. We then see reality in order. We generate. And this is the first frame to understand visualization. Because visualization, it's a kind of geometry to focus in one point. And then in this kind of point, you can expand. If you can understand, the first frame is the most important of this kind of power of visualization. And then you can create uh, all the context around this kind of frame. Finally, you can understand how to visualize and how to decode one image of your mind. And finally, And finally, we can decode the three planes of master visualization. All models of perception converge when we visualize consciously, turning emotion into geometry and geometry into action. Because if we can understand when we are awake, how to decode this kind of perception or visual field, and when we are dreaming or when we are sleeping, we try to decode in different place, in different concentric frames. Finally, we can understand how can visualize in different place of consciousness. For example, we have the ground plane is where most people think. Most people think uh, about the visual field like great context and they cannot observe something in a specific combination to understand something. But then you have the observation plane. It's like awareness where most people like designers, architects, um, scientists, and this kind of philosophers are. So this is the way we can decode visualization. But then you have the first plane, the design plane with intention. When you have this kind of focus and try to decode one object or one simple frame and try to build the, uh, all the context across different levels of the first frame, you finally can understand how to visualize something with this kind of system. In other words, how to apply the three planes of master visualization. When you try to visualize something, just think in the first frame. And then you can decode the second frame and the third frame. Because the first frame you can design with intention. 
what are you doing with your visualization? What are you trying to visualize? And then you can go and try to build uh, this kind of construction like a perspective. Because, for example, I'm, I'm an architect, always try to decode one picture or one frame and then try to and then I try to go the different layers of the mind to finally understand my intention what are we going to what we're going to assign okay we have we have the first plane it's like this kind of portal this kind of garage with this kind of shadow this is the first frame to understand the power of intention how how i are how to how to design this how to design with intention then you have the house it's like a, a kind of second plane it's where it's where people can observe but then you have the context it's like the ground plane where it's uh the big picture and then you finally can understand how to decode all the perspective but this is the way we can understand how to visualize something with intention. What is the first frame I'm going to design? And then we can construction or we can make a construction about different levels or different layers of the mind. This is the way we can visualize anything you want or trying to focus on your visualization because most people can visualize, but most but few people can visualize with intention. So thank you for watching. Let me see in the comments whether you think about all of this, about this new concept or this new model concept and my and my perception across different levels of fractals. Let me see in the comments whether you think about all of this. Mi casa es tu casa. So thank you for watching. See you soon in the next video. Muchas gracias. Adios. Chao, chao. Bye.